Hello ladies and gentlemen, Holotide here, and today I want to talk about maybe some exciting things that will be coming to matchmaking in Halo Infinite in the future. Don't have dates or anything like that, but this comes from Delta underscore AE on Twitter, or X, and they're pretty consistent with their takes. The first of which is the Halo Infinite Battle Royale mode that has been created in Forge by, I believe, the Forge Falcons is their Twitter. And then there's some more campaign type of things. But before we get into that, I just want to say thank you for all the support recently. You guys have been absolutely killing it. As always, we're grinding away towards 15,000 subscribers. I would love to hit that. I know 90% of you watch the videos, aren't subscribed. I could be your third favorite Halo YouTuber. All you got to do is hit that sub button. Anyways, the five community game modes that could, could, keyword there, could be added to matchmaking include the Battle Royale, Night of the Undead, and both of those are by the Forge Falcons, the Silent Cartographer Campaign, Tower Defense Ultimate, and a Firefight version of Halo Reach Deliver Hope. And if you know what Deliver Hope is, props to you, you're an OG. But if you don't know, go ahead, go into YouTube, watch the Halo Reach commercial called Deliver Hope. It was a live action, you know, commercial for Halo Reach back in the day. One of my favorites, honestly. I get a little bit of a tear. But this is what we've been talking about for so long that Halo Infinite needs. They need to be able to add these Forge activities, these PvE modes into the game, into matchmaking. You're able to earn, like, XP and stuff like that. And while, yes, I understand that the custom game browser does exist, I don't know what the hang-up is or the barrier that prevents people from using that stuff or setting it up themselves. I don't know if it's just, like, an ease of access or that person doesn't want to learn it. I mean, I get it. You know, I kind of just want to hit matchmaking and go and it'd be official. But again, I think this, this is huge. We saw them add in the BTB maps this last update. We need more squad battle maps, but if they're starting to rotate in new, you know, um, firefight modes or these campaign missions from previous Halo games, that's absolutely huge. Personally, I've been missing Last Spartan Standing. I can't believe that they actually took it out. Like, I, j I know it had a low population and all that, but it was so fun to me and it was just something so different. So I hope that the Battle Royale mode is super polished and fun to play when it comes out. I'm sure like most of the maps that come into the matchmaking playlist these are vetted by 343 you know there's been QA testing and stuff like that where it's it's where they would release it i guess with their standards obviously it's not developer made obviously it's gonna look like a forge map even though forge looks great but i'm still super excited again it's wild to me how powerful this forge is in infinite and if they're able to harness the community and you know kind of flood us with content all the time I think that's a huge win. Halo's been kind of up and down recently. Helldivers 2 came out, and people were like, ah, oh, why don't we have a Halo version of this? And then there were... If you saw my last video, if you haven't checked it out, make sure you uh, go back and watch it. But it was basically how many games had been pitched under the Halo franchise that just never got made or greenlit. Very saddening, but apparently there was like a Helldivers 2 game that was pitched, and Microsoft or 343 or whoever it was said, no, thank you. At this moment, I'm actually looking at Twitter, and it has 343i trending, which is kind of funny. But maybe this is how they kind of show Microsoft or whoever that there's a want for these type of games, especially under the Halo franchise. Again, we, we beat this dead horse, you know, all the time, but Halo is just so ripe as a universe for spinoffs. We talk about the Flood Horror game, but like, give me a Contact Harvest game where I play as Sergeant Johnson... I really think that it could get back to its roots like that. That being said, let me know in the comments down below if you've played any of these. The only one that I haven't gone into is the Deliver Hope one, and I also don't think I've played the Silent Cartographer campaign mission. But again, I'm mostly looking forward to the Battle Royale one. But that's going to do it for the video. If you enjoyed, make sure you leave a like down below. It helps me out with the algorithm on YouTube. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, and I will catch you around the ring. Peace!